All right, Coach, uh, last time we talked about two weeks ago, uh, you're kind of getting a routine at that point because you were only at it for about a week. Uh, how have things come to your expectations? Really good. You know, we're in week three now. Uh, you know, we're, we're three quarters in, and uh, I really – a real, I feel really good. You know, the guys are, are into the routine. They know what's expected. Um, you know, they understand the technique and fundamentals in the weight room, so we can go a lot faster in there, and guys can make you know bigger gains. Um, you know, on the football field, we've made a lot of progress. You know, installed a lot of stuff, and uh, you know, so weight room conditioning and football. Uh, has been really, really good. And then obviously the class aspect of it, you know, guys are getting their feet wet, being in the classroom, a lot of them for the first time. And so that's been good as well. So, you know, knock on wood, uh, I'm very pleased with you know, where we're at at this point. Any surprises for the last, over the last three weeks? Well, you know, I, I really like uh, our linemen. You know, we don't really have any fat kids. You know, we got guys that can really run. Uh, that I don't know if it's a surprise, but it's a, it's a pleasing situation. Um, you know, I think the quarterbacks, that competition's been really, really good. Um, you know, when we do one-on-one -on -one stuff, uh, wide receiver, DB, you just see a lot more athleticism and length and guys who can make plays. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's fun to see them run around. Uh, obviously, it's just a, a certain phase of it because football's not played in shorts and T-shirt. <laughs> But at least it gives us an idea of guys who can grasp what we're trying to get done, who can be held accountable, and who's who who can you know uh, be counted on. Uh, any negatives you can look at right now that you have wished you were further along, or um, anything that you feel that you could improve in? Well, you know, you, you obviously both sides of the ball. You'd like to have a little more in. Um, but I just think, with as young as we are, both sides of the ball, uh, I think we're taking the right approach and being slower in that aspect. You wish you had more hours. I'd like to be out there a lot longer uh, on the football field, but you know you're limited in hours, so you try to get as much done as you can. Um, you, you do get three days off, uh, you know, with Thursday, Friday, Saturday, in the afternoon and evening. But I think the guys really enjoy it. I'd probably like to go maybe one more day if we could, but. You know, with the hour limitation, you really can't. So, um, you know, it, it's good. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world because we got to have this to put mm -hmm. ourselves in position to hit the ground running uh, August 10th. What do you want to get accomplished next week? Well, I want to finish up strong in the classroom, number one. I want to make sure guys have all their assignments in, and, and so we, we get a good good deal done there. I want to get make sure guys get all their financial aid done, you know, bills paid, you know, all the administrative stuff done. Uh, and then I want to really end on a high note, you know, being looking at it, being in really good condition, um, and you know, really see the guys that really are committed. We'll have some ex interviews with with guys and see who really want to be a part of it. Uh, and then, like I said, the original meeting, I think 60 to 65 percent of both sides of the ball, and then special teams. I feel really, really good going into giving them a couple weeks break, coming back in August. All right, Coach, we'll see you in fall camp. Yes, sir.